Hey everybody, Andrew here from Go Green Compost. I'm outside today enjoying the lovely November weather and I am spreading some wood chips around. Now why wood chips you might ask? Well that's what I want to talk to you about in this video. And I also want to talk to you a little bit about how to procure wood chips like this giant pile I have behind me here. Now why wood chips? Well wood chips are an excellent tool for building healthier soil. They're a great way to feed your compost, they're really excellent for perennial plants. And the reason is that wood chips are an excellent food source for microorganisms, specifically fungi. Fungi have the enzymes and the acids that are needed to break down the tough fibers of cellulose contained within wood chips. And the type of plants that are going to really thrive when you have a fungal dominant soil are things like perennial plants, trees, fruit trees, berry bushes, things that come back year after year and produce food for you. They really like an acidic, fungal dominant soil. And that is what wood chips will help you build. Now I'm going to do a video for you guys showing you some of the specific uses that I find for wood chips around my garden. So you guys, if you want to see specific things to do with wood chips, check that video out. But just know that these are a really amazing food source for microorganisms. You can put them in your compost, you can mulch around your plants with them. And really the best characteristics of wood chips is that if you know where to get them, you can get them very affordably and they're a very good bulk substrate for building healthier soil and compost. Now let's talk about where you can get these things. One place you can go and something you might have heard about is a website called chipdrop.com. And what chipdrop does is you go to their website, you sign up and they link up with arborists in your area, people who trim trees and remove trees. And then when the arborists have wood chips, because what they do with trees and branches after they cut them down is they chip them to make them easier to dispose of, they've got to put them somewhere. So chip drop links up with them and they'll give them your information and then the arborist can come and drop them on your property. Now, one of the problems with chip drop, and I've gotten about three chip drops over the past two years, so don't get me wrong, I like chip drop, it's a great service, but one of the problems with it is that it can be kind of uh, hard to predict when your wood chips will show up. I mean, you sign up and then they maybe they come next week or maybe they come in six months and there's no way to tell. All you can do is go to the website and you can renew your request so you can do that periodically, but there's no guarantee that you're gonna get wood chips. So if you need more wood chips than you can get from chip drop or you don't have time to wait or you want to know exactly when your wood chips are going to show up what i would recommend you do is what i did to get these chips that you see behind me here and that is i just talked to a local arborist myself there was actually an arborist who was in my neighborhood he was uh, surveying a plot of land where they're going to clear some trees so he was out doing some work and i just struck up a conversation with him and i mentioned that I could use some wood chips and I offered to give him a, you know, a little tip, uh, 50 bucks for a truckload of chips. And, you know, he was nice enough about a week later to send a truck over two of the guys that worked for his company. They had a big truck completely full of wood chips and they came and dropped it on my property for me, which is awesome because I really needed some wood chips for some landscaping I'm doing. And again, if you guys want to see specifically what I'm doing with these, then check out the video that I'm going to make about that. I'll put a link in the description. And also, if you guys are enjoying this video or you find this information helpful in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. Why not subscribe to the channel? That way you can see more videos like this in the future. And yeah, they gave me this giant pile of wood chips and it only cost me $50, which is why wood chips like this are such an amazing tool because you can see this is a pretty big pile of mulch. And of course, in that video, you see that it was a lot bigger. I've already spread quite a bit of it. Uh, but if I were to buy a pile of mulch this size, it would probably cost me thousands of dollars. Not to mention, it would probably be difficult to get it delivered. Whereas these guys, I mean, they delivered like champs. It was awesome. I, they told me they were coming by. Later that day, they were here. I tipped them some cash. They were happy. I was happy. Really good transaction. So if you're having a hard time waiting around for your chip drop, just get in touch with one of your local arborists. You know, maybe if you see them out doing some work, you can chat them up or you could even just give them a call. I'm sure they've got their phone number and email on their websites and just uh, call around until you find somebody who's willing to give you some wood chips because they've got to do something with these chips. I think that the companies here, they drop them off at a local resort where they use them for landscaping. But typically you might even be making the guy's jobs easier if they don't have to drive as far to your property as to uh, you know where they normally dump them off so a few minutes on the phone or a few emails and you should be able to get a nice pile of wood chips for yourself and that can really help you with all of your permaculture and soil building projects if you guys do want to see what i'm doing with these wood chips behind me then check out this video right here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys next time andrew from go green compost out